We start with the transverse plane at the ASIS. We can just see a little tiny nerve emerge as you then move the transducer south. So this is it here. It's a superficial sensory nerve. It sits between two layers of fascia and it's closely related to the ASIS. So we always start at the ASIS in transverse and then just rock on to that medial end of the probe footprint. Uh, it emerges from usually beneath the inguinal ligament and then courses south within two layers of fascia, just lateral to sartorius or over the surface of the sartorius. So you can see it's now lateral to sartorius and then it goes down the anterolateral thigh. So it can be a cause for anterolateral thigh pain. If it's too difficult to find, I guess in transverse, we can try a longitudinal plane. You can just see the nerve just split into two little branches there. So that's quite common. But the, the hot spot where we want to see is back up here at the ASIS. As it passes through the inguinal ligament or underneath it, variants exist. This is usually the site of compression is the inguinal ligament, particularly in a larger build patient. We can look at the diameter of the nerve also in longitudinal uh, or the cross-sectional area in transverse. If you turn into longitudinal, it can be very difficult to stay on the nerve as you can see here. So if you put the ASIS in the middle of the probe and then plonk the probe a lot more medial, so one to two centimetres medially, and then try sweeping out laterally just slowly towards the ASIS again. And there you can see the nerve diving out from the abdominal cavity up and, and over and it passes beneath the inguinal ligament. So it should have a relatively uniform diameter throughout. It shouldn't have a fusiform thickening or a nodule. Um, so you can see how a normal nerve is very tiny and difficult to appreciate. So we'll have a look at an abnormal case just so you know what to look for here. So the request form was for numbness and tingling sensation down the anterolateral thigh. And we can see here the comparison. We've got a nice normal nerve on the left, fusiform dilation on the right. So it's occurring just distal to the inguinal ligament. At times you'll see the fusiform dilation above or proximal to the inguinal ligament. And in a transverse plane in another patient, we can see comparison can be very helpful. So we'll just run through the technique again. You plonk the transducer in transverse on the ASIS and maintain good contact medially so that we can find the inguinal ligament. And then we start looking just beneath the ligament or through the ligament. And then as the probe is moved sort of up and down, you look for the little bunch of grapes sign. It's a very tiny nerve normally. So as you lock onto that nerve, you zoom up. We're using a 17.5 transducer. You then start to move the probe distally and try and keep your eyes on that little nerve for any diameter changes or cross-sectional changes. And then we would obviously compare with the other side. We could even use an ellipse tool around the nerve to demonstrate thickening.